building an entire network that will stand as the forefront while other key stakeholders for women, that is young girls, girls at secondary school level, girls at university level, and women who are up and coming can plug into. But you can't plug into something that doesn't exist. So that's what we're doing here today. We're creating, we're starting the creation of a network that all female leaders, successful female women, uh, successful women uh, who are female and are thriving in their different ecosystems or in their different um, tribes, so to speak, can stand at the forefront and work together to create. So these young girls and young women and women who are up and coming and trying to achieve this level of success can plug into and have a platform to do so. Power Brunch seems to be an amazing opportunity for women to come together um, and help women that are coming underneath them and also create like an opportunity for women to network, share their experiences and share their connections with each other. I think that women today feel a lot more empowered. A lot of times our society has made women feel that they should be seen and not heard and their voices are not valid. But I think in 2024 more women and girls feel the need to speak out and I think that's something that we all need to encourage in our homes, with our families, with our daughters, with our wives. Encourage women to be able to speak their mind. Certain things have been done, but it, we are not there yet. Uh, and I suspect perhaps the follow-up question would be, what then should we be doing? What are we should be, lo we be looking at that we are not looking at? So you, it is important to see this from a very holistic perspective. And what do I mean by that? You ask yourself, what are the critical things that are needed? There is the legal part of it, which is do we have the law's legal framework that makes it an, an enabling for women to do what they need to do? Do we have the kind of space that a woman can feel okay to go into any kind of work that they need to go into, irrespective of what stage in their life that they have? And the answer is not is, is that we don't have all of that being kept. Secondly, do we have access to capital, access to resources? The answer you will, I'm sure you will also be able to answer. 